Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to our first Hero Factory review. Wait, what the heck? Uh, uh, why are you reviewing Hero Factory? After, well, I'm just, so whoops. Well, since I recently celebrate, since we are finishing, since I recently finished off the Bonacle reviews of Throwback Thursdays, well, well, for now, will I ever do some more in the future? Yes, but for now, let's focus on Hero Factory since it did work well for me and a lot of you out there. So first off, is Hero is the uh, is the Hero Team the Alpha Team from Summer 2010, which consisting of Nally Breeze, William Furno, Sir Mark Surge, Duncan Bulk, Preston Stormer, and Jimmy Stringer. So. Here we have all the cancers, but let's take a look at one of them. And as you see, you have a picture of the character that comes within, and the background is pretty much just blueprints of how their models were done. And have the logo and the Hero Factory symbol well, in the color of the character that there is. And then the age group, set, set number, the amount of pieces, all are equal to 17 to 19 pieces. Kind of interesting. And then Furno or every, anyone's name. And what a couple of them have is a little alternate use of the weapon for that and the signature there. And down below is the logo again. And for the other side of which has this little logo right here. Which, if it choose to focus, there it's from the from the makers of Bionicle characters. So that oh, which to show that. To say these are like the successors of Bonacle, and it was just only for this first wave. I wish they would have continued it into the other waves of Hero Factory, but whatever. And on the back of each one, you get a picture of the hero fighting all of the villain sets that were also released at this time, which also review for next next throwback Thursday and up, and actual size of the helmet there. And the thing again, but in Spanish and whatnot, and yeah. And on to just one of the booklets, same picture as on the front, and very thin, just like the Bonacle Stars sets did. But at least they well improved it with 2.0 in summer t in winter 2011, which you'll see. And open it up, and you see a little picture of all the heroes together with a bit of Maka Hero City in the background. Now on the back, win on the online survey, Evil Wing Kid, of course. Then after Lego Club, and then add of the Hero Factory website and map and everything. And then any of the heroes fighting any of the villain sets that there are. And then the pieces that come with it, of course. So, starting out with the leader of the Alpha Team, Preston Stormer. This is... Well, and of course, if you know me, the ice characters, as well as fire and water, probably my favorite of Bonacle and Hero Factory, of course. And... So like he, all some of these pieces kind of similar to that of the Avatar and the Gory for that, but well improved for that. So these would have a lot of new pieces, but except for the head, hands, and uh, yeah, that's it. So that's what Stormers of which they which all have these little feet pieces that connect on a little differently. And as for the legs and arms of which. Are these all new kind of uh, joint pieces, which are kind of similar to most of the Afatorans, or a different kind of Afatoran limb pieces, but which you can use for different kinds and all. But 
not at all any benching to them, but although, unlike other Avatorn sets, you got these little things you can, or pieces that you add on to them. And if, like, take the chest play off, and the main torso piece, which is the same as from the uh, Ben 10 construction line of sets, but a little smaller without the extra ball joints, and neat thing is, for this wave of Hero Factory, all the sets, including the villain sets, all use the same torso piece, kind of, which is kind of odd and annoying, but yeah. And that is for, well, for the main Alpha Team heroes, of which all have different chest plates, but the rookies, of, of which all have the same chest plate piece, which you'll see throughout the review, but as for Stormers in particular, has these like spikes coming out of it and these little indents in them and of course can take out the hero cores his which is trans blue and of course this key thing to them kind of like masks in bonacle and the discs and throw locks and all but anyone like are they an important thing no it's kind of what powers them but they would be if was a whole bunch of different ones were given throughout the sets but yeah whatever and as for his help mask of which, and also with the Alpha Team hero sets, is they also reuse these in Breakout, of course. It's probably to make them more recognizable or whatever, but Stormers of which done quite interesting. Which in the mini series, the lower part is flips up and all. And of course, it has a little camera and walkie talkie feature to it. And also, with. Also, for his primary weapon, which has a few things thrown together in it, and. Kind of, and the top part of it, kind of bendy and all. Kind of like Gelu's uh, sword pieces, then. And of course, Hero Factory symbol in, etched into it. And if you look at it from a different angle, and vacant and hollow, which you'll also see on two of the other heroes in this review. Probably to lower down the piece count, but although I think they should have like made it fit over one of the armor pieces, which would be a lot better, and yeah. And next to which is uh, William Blaze. Or as we prefer now, go by Inferno, because Blaze was the prototype name. But yeah, you see most of the same pieces, but in uh, light red, and also with the like oddish or key orange color, of course, and also his weapon, which was reused very few times or a couple other times throughout the Hero Factory line which looks like a weapon from Halo, and also his helmet, kind of like that, so kind of reminiscent of Halo, if you ask me. But at least it's, it's all rough, fine as is, but... And for his chest play, oh, which quite nice with the translucent yellow to him, same with the Glatorian head underneath and his helmet, again, Halo reminiscent, but also if you look it in another way, you can kind of make say it as another face. Nice for mocking. Oh, almost forgot. That also, ooh, well, that's which is going to be on another character, which you'll see in a bit. And yeah, I guess that's it with Forno. And now on to Jimmy Stringer, who named which is spelled kind of like that of Hendrix. but in his color scheme of black and orange. Nice for that of Halloween. And also kind of like uh, Poe Dameron's X-Wing in the first wave of Force Awakens and whatnot. Oh, actually. Oh. Anyways, but 
As for his chest plate, which is a little different than the other two, but has stereo speakers on him, which is kind of the common theme of him, which fits for his weapon, which is a sound blaster. And again, hollow, which he, Stormer, and Bolt both have. Also, as for the piece of that, it's a little different than previous kinds, where it has a little indent above the plus rod when others kind of didn't do that. Uh, not sure why that is, but if you know why, comment below. Also, one thing standing out is which the traditional Glatorian handpiece in black. First time of that in that color, which is great for mocking, but if you wanted to be symmetrical in mocks, you'd have to buy a second by this character twice, which, unless if you just bought it uh, multiple times on Bricklink or whatever. And for his hero core, it's unique trans orange color. Well, bulk, Duncan Bulks, which is a little different than that, which you'll see in a bit. But as for his helmet, which you may think is kind of has four eyes, but actually not really. It's just a little vent below or whatever. And of course, little indents above. And although it does look kind of similar to that of 2015 Lee was, but of course his was mask, not a helmet. And each of them from the back has some little bit of exposure to that. And then on to the only female, Nally Breeze. Which consisting of light green and black. And of course this which when the green one was the only female instead of blue one. And, but yeah, and still large exposure, and in the case of the feet pieces for her, oh, oh, she was the only one that reused them with the later version in Breakout, since of course, kind of well represent high heels a bit. And, and as for her hero core, which is in translucent red, which, which nice for mocks and all. And also for her helmet, kind of a little insect-like, nice for her if you were to make some insect-type character mocks. But as for her weapons, which look to have a little harpoon and also a little thing above, which some kind of rep say represent boomerangs or whatever. But although in the uh, miniseries, it, they kind of go off like that. Also, one thing is where you can insert them onto the back part, which and it well fits in with that, which I forgot to say or mention with Ferno. But well, in Ferno's case, you can kind of do that, and he has either little jetpacks or little claws like Wolverine. So I guess that is it with Bull with Breeze. And now on to Duncan Bulk, who in this wave, we did get two versions of Duncan Bulk. Both this and also one that was included with Bulk and Vapor. But, but of course, odd thing, instead of being like yellow or uh, brown or whatever, he, which is silver, well, at least they saved yellow for Evo the following year, of course. And of course has silver and black black limbs just like that with Nally Breeze and kind of like how Stringer was the first to have a black hand. 
He which first won with a silver handpiece, but also like Stringer, you'd have to buy a second one of him to make a symmetry to him and for your mocks and all. And also for his hero core, which you may think is probably the same orange as Stringer, but not. It's actually a brighter trans orange like they used to do back in the day. Oh, which is kind of cool to see here. And as for his weapon, again, hollow arm, just like the others. Even though the version of him with bulk and vapor would also include Stringer's weapon. And, but more on that later. And as, but uh, what's different about his kind is where he has a finger or put over the trigger, whereas the other ones, uh, which just don't. And for his helmet of which, does the same kind of mouth guard feature as the others do in the uh, mini series, of course. And also has a little microphone like thing to it and a little camera above also like some of like the rest of them do so others monitor them on their missions and again like the others major exposure from the back but they fixed that with breakout and last but not least is mark surge and his color scheme being of uh, blue and silver with a little bit of yellow, but as for his hero core, a little darker color than Furno's. And the rest of which quite the same as him, as the other couple others, but, and of course he and the rookie heroes all have the same chest plate, but the Alpha Team ones have different ones, of course. And, well, as for his helmet of which, same thing going on, little bits on the back of it. And although the not niches in it, kind of reminiscent to that of Toa Hordika from 2005, obviously. And of course, hero limb pieces in silver, uh, good for mocking if you wanted to make a silver, uh, a torn of light or something. And as for his weapons, a quite cool ones. Where it has these lightning bolts going off of them, even though in Breakout they were reintroduced. Both for, like this for Speed of Demon, and also in blue for uh, Surge's Breakout version, of course. And if I take this off, then there's two different uh, places to hold on to them. You can do so like that, like the Breakout version does. Or as for the other picture on his caster, holds him, them double-ended. Also, you can kind of put them together like that, like in the mini-series, obviously. Also cool. So, he and the rookies quite more customizable, even though the Alpha Team ones, not at all. And also, as one viewer of which says that he which kind of feels like modified barracks a bit. And, but I guess he kind of it is. I guess probably because of the weapons in the helmet and the blue color, but whatever. But maybe it's just them. Also, Ferno did get a second figure in the wave, being on Furno Bike, of course. And so now, on to it, the final verdict. Overall, or my overall verdict is, I think they of which are kind of good sets for the time of 2000, summer 2010. Or first wave of Hero Factory of 2010, obviously, was what I meant to say. Like, of course, a lot of good extra mocking pieces, well, until with the villain sets that came 
as well, of course. And of course, it was hawk heaven of new pieces to that. And of course, even though the casters, which also forgot to say, also have the hero factory symbol rather than the scroll shield to them. And these lids of which they reused until a Savage Planet in summer 2011. And obviously. And also, even though they kind of feel almost like Avatorn and the stars and a gory, obvious, of course, but at least they were had little different pieces to them. Even though the only reused ones were the hands and the Clitorian heads, of course. But uh, at least until uh, 2.0 in 2011, kind of changed that up a bit. And so if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say truly go ahead and get them. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And also, in enjoy the bonus thing in the description below. And also, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.